Good evening, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and tonight I'm here with um, Amy and Charmaine and Young and Kimmy. And so we're going to minister to you, and we are going to minister to every single person that put their names uh, in the uh, on the list. So even the ones we don't get to tonight, I will in a week make sure that we make a video and we minister to every single person. So. Um, so if you want to receive a word, just write your name in the comments. If you think I won't know if it's a man or a female, just put there male or female. But there's, there's quite a few people, I've prophesied the whole year to them, and then one day they put their male, and the whole time I thought it's a female. So, so it's better, just, if you see we make a mistake, we love you, and we want to get it right, so just put for us there the information, so we can we can get it right the first time. All right. So our prophetic protocol is 1 Corinthians 14, 3. It says, when you prophesy, the word must edify, exhort, and comfort. And that's very important for us. So that's why when we minister, we never give a, a word of judgment. It's not that words of judgment doesn't happen in the Bible, but we just want to keep to that protocol that we have there in the scripture. All right. So I'm going to start to minister right now. Amy, please come and sit. The first person I want to minister to is Martin. Okay. Uh, so Martin, um, I, when I saw your name, I read in my head, just started to listen to what God said. And I just saw all of these pillars that the Lord is setting up in your life. And I felt each one of that pillars is, uh, is a gifting, is a talent, is a character part of you. Uh, it's even your education. It's the, the maturity that you have in your life, the vision that you have for your life. And I saw how that pillars are standing underneath... Uh, um, um, a base that the Lord wants you to walk on and I just felt that you going through a growth process of note especially in this 2024 four. it's like a year of growth preparing for 25 uh, where, it's, where it's a year where you're going to establish a lot of things and you're going to build a lot of things but this is a year of training and being equipped for the next year okay. God bless you Martin God bless you Amen. God bless you, Martin. God loves you. This next word is for Joshua. Joshua, the Lord says, I'm giving you supernatural faith. I saw a picture of how um, it was like in the middle of a desert and you put on a raincoat. And just like people laughed at Noah, this is impossible. Why are you building a boat here? And I just saw how there's going to be a lot of um, people that don't understand, but I just see how you don't look at people, you look at God and how you put on that raincoat and how by faith God sends rain. And I just feel, Lord says, I'm sending my rains into your life and I'm giving you so much courage and victory right now and I just see how you come to the Lord and it was kind of like um, how, how the Lord gave you like a drip of the Holy Spirit and how you just received like a double portion of his love and I just feel the Lord says I'm filling you up all the way God loves you so much Joshua I really want to encourage you um, just put on that jacket of faith God bless you our next word is for Zion Maria. Zion, just what I felt for you when I prayed for you, I felt like our, our Jesus said He's come to give you calmness. He's come to give you rest. Um, so how we're nearing the end of the season, nearing the end of the year. Um, so usually we go on vacation or we just go on rest. But I feel like how God is saying that He's giving you rest now. Rest for your spirit. Um, I feel like how it's been like a very hectic year. And I feel like how God is saying that He's taking all the baggage away. I see like how for the rest of the year, how God shows me how it's like making your path like straight so that you don't have to have that much challenges and i just see how god shows me that he gives you comfort he gives you strength and he gives you victory be blessed thank you for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for tasiane tasiane the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of you standing at the window and looking through the curtains expecting somebody to come and eventually you ask but when are they coming and they said well they're already here and it feels like you're waiting for that extreme um, revelation or that extreme introduction where the Holy Spirit comes in and takes mm. over and takes control. And the Lord says the Holy Spirit is already there. You just need to work with the Holy Spirit. You need to uh, have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Then you'll see the Holy Spirit's already with you. And when you start to do that, you'll start to realize this is what you wanted, this is what you expected. But currently it's not as you expected it to be, but it's going to be better than you expected. Be blessed. Hey, Mentassi, please leave us a comment. This next word is from Mariana. The Lord shows me how you build around you a canopy of love 
and 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 and, and with that you feel safe that you have that that always around you always surrounding you that when you uh, go and and you be with others then it's just there's so much love pouring out of you and there's so much peace in that the lord also shows me how how he's giving you strength to carry on to push through to finish the work where you are to to finish each each task well and to finish strong i hear in this in this next like the the ending of the year that the lord is just going to give you another boost of, of a life and of perseverance to finish well be blessed okay uh mariana uh god bless you all right so family uh what i'm gonna do is every single person that put their name on the list i'm gonna schedule you and i'm gonna we're gonna minister for a block to a block of people tonight and then um during the week I'll minister to every single person. I'll post separate videos for those. So um, if you, doesn't matter, you don't have to, to worry that you're not going to get ministry. Uh, I'll make sure that every single person that put their name on the list will receive a word. All right. So Sherika Neil. Uh, Sherika, what the Lord is showing to me uh, is how the Lord is giving you oil. And you're pouring out that oil and it doesn't stop. And the Lord gives you supernatural provision, and that is in, uh, that includes finances, but also includes the ability to persevere and to endure and to continue and to keep that joy and to to be that woman of God that He has called you to be. And I just see how the Lord give you that supernatural provision in your life. God bless you. Amen. God loves you so much. God bless you, Sharika. His next word is for Christian. Christian, God loves you so much, and I just um, I really saw how God you were like this bow and arrow and I just saw how God was really strengthening the string of the bow so that you can that you can be like flexible but still strong so you don't break and I just feel there was a lot of strengthening that had to happen and I just feel the Lord says I'm covering that um, that that string with my grace and that's going to keep you strong and I just feel the Lord says it's not my it's not through works it's through my grace that that string will be strong so you won't snap and I just feel the Lord says I'm strengthening you I'm protecting you and I just see there's such a, um, a focus and such a clarity God has placed in your eyes to see through him to know what to do and I just feel the Lord says I'm giving you the Holy Spirit I'm giving you a new outpouring of my Holy Spirit and I'm giving you I'm, I'm speaking to you right now for what you need to do so if you have any questions or you don't know what to do I just feel the Lord is just inviting you to listen to be still and listen to his voice God loves you so much God bless you our next word is for Joban Job and God loves you so much. I just heard how the Father says, come to me, my son. Um, I just saw like how God showed me how you're sitting at his feet and he's ministering to you. I see how he's anointing your head and how he's like just imparting wisdom unto you, just imparting his knowledge, he's just imparting his touch, his softness unto you. And I just see how you need that because it's like strengthening you. It's like... Uh, making you full of his presence and then i also saw like how god showed me like it's like almost like there's a light inside of you and i saw like how god took that light out and you like placed new batteries inside of that light and i just saw when you put that new batteries how you started to shine even brighter in um the, uh, from his presence that flowing through, through you be blessed thank you Jovan, for being here tonight please remember right to say comment the next word is for Mary Jane. Mary Jane, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you, you know, when you are driving and you drive through bugs all over the windscreen, it's greasy. Then you put it on the wipers, but it just worsens it. Now, I just see how the Lord comes and He says, I'm helping you with your vision. It is as if you are in that state where you thought it's going to be better, but it's worse the vision that you see. Not the actual fact, just the vision uh, is limited. And I just see how the Lord says, I'm helping you to work through this, to keep on cleaning so that your vision becomes crystal clear once again. So don't worry. It's not that you, you're you disconnected from the Lord. It's you're still connected to the Lord. It's just a process that you're working through, uh, establishing and making sure, um, growing connections with the Lord. Be blessed. Amen. May I please give us a comment? This next word is for Jancy. The, the Lord shows me how He's going to wake you up, how there is an awakening happening. Like I almost see like a splash of cold water just comes on your face and you and you are so awake now. And the Lord says that with, with, with everything that you do, with everything that He asks you to do, 
He wants there to be that 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 effort. That that it's it's not you're not looking for perfection, but you're looking for everything that you can give, that you can bring it to the Lord fully and with your full attention. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Christina. Uh, Christina, uh, the Lord shows me how you bake a bread every morning and how you go through that process of letting that bread rise uh, and then you bake it and then you give the bread away. And so I felt that the Lord says, uh, not only is He going to give you words for yourself to grow and to mature and to build your faith, He's also going to give you messages and the Word of God in you so that you can share it with others to build them up and to encourage them and to give them bread. And so Jesus said, I'm the bread of life. And, I, and you know, we walk in the footsteps of Jesus. And I felt that the Lord is going to uh, feed you with His bread of life, but He's also going to use you to feed others. And I see how you give many, many people uh, the bread of God. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Lorna. Lorna, the Lord loves you very much. And I, I really feel the Lord has really um, called you to roar and be courageous. Courageous. And I just saw how you like gave like a, like a victory shout. And then Lorna, I... I saw a picture of how you were sitting in front of a computer, you were doing your work, you were doing the assignment God has called you to do, and then all of a sudden the mouse stopped working and you were getting very frustrated, why is this not working? And you were looking down the whole time trying to fix the problem, but I saw how God said look up to you and how the Lord gave you like this brand new um, computer and it looked like a touch screen and it was like this whole new upgrade. And I just feel the Lord says don't look at the things that are freezing up right now that are not working, I just feel the Lord says that old season don't dwell in it that's from the past and that it helped you back then but the Lord says I'm giving you something new um, and I just feel the Lord says um, lift up your head and step into the new that I have for you Lord my God loves you so much God bless you our next word is for Anami Martins Anami I just just what I saw for you I saw how God showed me that you're like molding and shaping this like um, artistic statue thing but it's not made of it's clay it's like made of like sort of a metal material and you've been working on this thing for quite a while now but it it's not perfected like the way that you want it to be and then i see like how jesus comes and jesus sits next to you and he sort of like takes your hands and while taking your hands he's like helping you to mold and shape this thing and then i saw like how he comes with a cloth and he helps you to to like shine this thing and to make it bright and to like like bring out the goodness and the the the, the shine or from the thing and i just feel like how god shows me that you've like you've been in this word in in um learning new experiences and i just see like how god comes and jesus comes and he helps you to like like polish and shine to come to perfection in the process of this artwork that that you're creating be blessed Thank you, Anami, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Akim. Akim, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you sitting in your car and the key is broken off in the ignition. Now, the Lord sends a lock spirit, not a locksmith. And I just see how the Holy Spirit comes to help you to resolve the problem where you can just get your ministry going, where you can just start to be mobile once again, uh, especially in the spirit uh, with ministry things where you just minister people uh, to people you help people you care for people you pray for people and i just see it, it's some delay but just work through it the lord is faithful he's just he's helping you he's restoring you renewing you yeah. everything that you need the lord will supply be blessed amen akim please leave us a comment this next word is for ben huja ben huja the lord shows me how you have beautiful eyes and he says that i made your eyes to see to see visions, to 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 see his his word, to see healings, and I feel like the Lord is saying that he, that he is not done showing you things, he is not done using you to 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 be that that tap, to be that release, that gateway into the world, that what the Lord is pouring out in you that you can release, and He says that you're gonna see it, you're gonna see greater things than you have already seen, and I I, I don't know what color your eyes are, even if it's brown or blue, but I just see how you have these such such pure pure eyes, and the Lord sees that and He's going to use that. Be blessed. Hey, Manuja, God uh, loves you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, family, I just want to encourage you, if you would like to receive a word, please write your name in the comments. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to minister to a block of people tonight, and then we're going to go 
uh, live again or we're gonna go on a video uh, and then we're gonna minister to everyone and I'll post all of those videos so I don't want to miss one person if you want to receive a word I will 100% put you on the list and we will minister to you all right so uh, I want to minister to Elise James so Elise the Lord shows me a pot plant with a tree planted in there and this pot has moved a few times and then I saw how this pot is standing right next to the garden. It, it's, that's the right place. But it's not planted in a garden. And then how the Lord uh, digs the hole, put all the right compost and the bone meal and things in there. And then plant the tree. And then that tree suddenly grows and, and bears so much fruit. And I felt that is the process that God is uh, doing with you in your life. That the Lord says, you are in the right place. Uh, this is a, a, a good place where you fit. And I'm planting you and you're going to see massive growth in your life. God bless you, Elise. Amen. God bless you, Elise. This next word is for Amanda. Amanda, um, I saw a picture of how you were like before God asking him to teach you how to be grateful and have thankfulness in your heart. And I just saw how God really, um, really touched your heart and gave you like this whole anointing of being so grateful and walking in his thankfulness. And I feel that that has healed and calmed you like crazy. And I just feel God is just placed to giving you um, thankfulness, gratefulness, and how you are just walking through life just in such all of what he is doing and what he is going to do and I feel that there's a lot of um, time miracles God is doing in your life where you're um, when you're you're more productive with your time you're using your time more um, you're, you're here with your family you're spending time with God and I just feel God is really restoring back time and he's really training you how to use it and um, yeah Amanda God loves you so much and I, I really feel God is giving you this prophetic gifting and yeah there's gonna be time miracles God bless you our next one is for finish finish Josh I just heard how God is saying that He's giving you a voice to fight for the voiceless. Mm -hmm. um, I see like how God shows me that you've got like a voice, an, an anointing like a lion. I see like how when you speak, when you open your mouth, how that authority comes through your mouth. I just see how God shows me that you've got an anointing as well to fight for the for, fight for righteousness. I see like how God shows me that He's like opening platforms for you. He's opening doors for you where you can help and where you can ha help people that that don't know how to, to help themselves. I see like how God shows me that He's giving you a heart of compassion for people. He's giving you a love for people. And I just see in all of that how God shows me that in the spiritual realm, it's like you were like a small person in the spiritual realm. And God just shows me by doing all of these things and being obedient and helping other people and being compassionate for people, how God shows me that how you grow, grow immensely in the spiritual realm. Be blessed. Thank you, Finish, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Johanna. Johanna, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I see a warrior. I see somebody that's able to stand in prayer and stand in faith. And I just see how you've got people that you pray for. Um, I see some of them is illuminated and some is not. And I just see how you should keep on praying for those ones that you feel is not successful. You're not breaking through. Do not quit. Don't give up on them. I just see how you pray and you speak blessings over them. Even though some days you don't feel like blessing them, the Lord says speak a blessing over them. Because I see every time you speak a blessing over them, it's like a mirror where you bless yourself as well. And I just see how you grow stronger and stronger, but also you are definitely influencing people in a positive way. Be blessed. Amen, Johanna. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Kushi. Kushi, the Lord shows me, come. Come into my presence. Come into my arms. Come into my rest. Come into, come into my... Come, just come into my hands. I hear like the Lord saying that He wants to 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 hold you, like 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 your world. He wants to, He wants to hold it, and He says, I want you to step into that, step into that reality. Have faith that you are being held by the Lord, because I just see how how right now you are you're not you're not completely in His hands. You're just you're just hovering. The Lord says, step into that, into that fullness of that protection that I am giving to you, that I am literally holding out my hands for you to receive. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Thank you very, uh, very much, Kushi. God bless you. Um, so family, uh, I, I have now um, the, all the names for people that is going to receive ministry tonight. And I also have about 15 more names. And so I'm going to um, 
probably ask Amy or Ian or Kimi and then we're going to sit and we're going to minister to every single person on that list. So even if you still haven't put your name on the list and you would like to receive word, just put it on there. I'll make sure that I get to every name and uh, I saw Jesus Ritardo's name right there also now so I added his name also. So I just, um, but, um, um, okay, anyway, I'm just telling if you would like to receive word, just write your name. Okay, so I want to minister to Jane Francis. Um, uh, Jane, uh, what the Lord was showing to me uh, is how He is establishing you right now to do the ministry work that He has for your life. And I see how anointing start to flow out of you, the, the, the worship, intercession, uh, anointing to lay hands on people, to see healing and miracles out of your life. And I felt that the Lord says He's building the house of God and then He's building your house. And I felt that he's first building his house and then afterwards he will build your house. And so now you're worried, but not everything with my family is perfect. And there's a lot of things that still needs to uh, be uh, sorted. And I felt that the Lord says, just trust in me and wait for, for my time. But right now, I felt the focus is to help you to grow your ministry. And especially in the area of intercession and also praying for people. I just see how gates open up ministry in your life god bless you amen god bless you god loves you jay francis this next word is for um a days uh a days I, I hope i'm pronouncing your name right you have a very beautiful unique name so while praying for you i saw a picture of lightning and how the lord is is okay i hope this doesn't sound too cheesy but it's like his lightning love um is like through your veins and I just feel God is giving you like this this loving um, passion and power and how you're walking through the Holy Spirit praying for people to get healed feeling so energized and I just feel the Lord says that I'm removing the depression the darkness the things that want to weigh you down and I'm filling you up with excitement and passion and so much love I just feel the Lord says that love is the song that you're going to sing um, whether you feel like it or not God is singing a song of love over you and that is going to carry you then I saw a picture of how God was giving you a basket and, and, and then it but it had holes in it and I just saw how um, you he completely restored it and how you got to fill it with fruits and, and vegetables and how God says the harvest is ready I need you to be ready and how how you start getting more and more baskets and I just feel the Lord says check your baskets make sure there's no holes and if you feel like there's something that is leaking um, in your life give it to God and let him restore that because I really feel this is a harvest time in your life and God you need those baskets to be ready um, so that you can receive so give it all to God God loves you so much God bless you our next word is for Frank Penn Frank what I saw for you when I prayed I saw like how God showed me that there's a door open and I saw like how you went through that door and when you went through that door I saw like how restoration happened and how healing happened but then with that open door I said I saw like that first open door led to another open door but i feel like the another open door is the door that god wants you to go through i see like how god shows me that when you walk through the another open door it's like milk and honey is being released upon you and i also just saw like how god shows me that that you don't you do not need to look back at the previous door or the, the 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 beginning of where you didn't go through any door God says that you need to look forward you need to look at the new that is giving you You need to look at the new um, experiences the new environment that is giving you and I just see like how God shows me that he's in the hand of favor and his hand of anointing is on you be blessed thank you Frank for being here tonight please remember to write us a comment the next word is for Christopher Christopher the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a safety pin that has been released. Now, the safety pin restricted you a lot, but it kept you safe. But I just see how your mobility is back. But now you need to listen to the Holy Spirit. Be uh, attentive when the Lord speaks so that you pay attention to hear when it, whether He's warning you or giving you instructions so that your guidance and direction will be spot on. That is a new phase where you're moving in. So you're going to move a lot faster. You're going to have a lot more freedom, but I also see you need to listen what the Lord says. Be blessed.
Uh, yes, uh, be blessed, Christopher. But, Elizabeth, my word for you was also uh, kind of similar. I, I heard the word saying, what frequencies are you allowing into your ears? What are you choosing to, to receive? What are you choosing to believe? Where are you connecting to? I hear the Lord saying, disconnect from the frequency of the world that you keep hearing these things and not that the, 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 the news. It's not, it's not about the news. It's about just everything it's it's like inner thoughts what are you believing what are you receiving and the lord says that i want to change that i want to change how you think about yourself how you think about your situation and the lord shows me how he's going to give you a new frequency to connect you his frequency his words his thoughts that he thinks of you that you think of, that you sh must receive and declare those things over yourself and over your family be blessed hey uh so Christopher and Elizabeth, um, the Lord says, Seek and you will find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. Ask and you shall receive. And I really believe that the Lord is opening up new things for you as you ask Him, as you trust in Him. And I felt we things in the past has come to you. This one is going to come because you ask and you trust the Lord and you declare His word and you and you stand in faith in intercession and then the lord is going to open up the door that's what i feel the lord is saying to the two of you the lord loves you very much and i have a massive appreciation uh, for both of you for especially for elizabeth uh, elizabeth you are wonderful with all your your comments and i see how you study and how you just grow and so the lord is going to help the both of you he's with you and um i know god is very proud of both of you guys. Uh, God loves you and is very proud of you. Uh, God bless you. Okay, so uh, Anneli, um, the Lord showed me a, a, a guitar and how the guitar gets tuned, um, but it gets tuned with God's frequency, not the frequency where it always was. And then the Lord starts to play and be beautiful music um, came first worship and then warrior music uh, that, that just put this uh, circles of of uh, protection around your life and i just felt that the lord says that he is bringing you onto his frequency that you'll hear his voice that you'll turn to him that you'll walk with him and he's going to be your covering and that you're going to be hidden in christ uh, and you're not going to be exposed and and i actually see a picture of how jesus uh, was mocked and how they they slapped him uh, and how they uh, took his beard and and that was all a picture of the dignity that jesus uh, that they wanted to take from Jesus and I just felt that the Lord is putting dignity back into your life he's bringing restoration and dignity and he's covering you God bless you amen God bless you God loves you this next word is for Louise Louise God showed me a very interesting picture the picture was um, I saw how a hurricane came and attacked you and, and destroyed your whole house and you came to the Lord and you were like why did this happen and then I just saw how the Lord um, so you know like those shows where people come and they surprise the people hey we redesigned you a beautiful house and it's like this beautiful mansion I just saw a God like sent his angels and sent people to built this new house for you and I just feel the Lord says I'm establishing a house for you I'm taking back what the enemy has stolen and I see how God invites you into this house and you got an assignment to decorate it and to make it beautiful because I really feel like in your household in your ministry in your life you're going to invite a lot of people in your life and they are going to you're going to really lead them to Jesus and that is going to be through God working through you the compassion the love and I just feel God is also breaking back the um, breaking off um, the bondages off of your life and also burdens God has not called you to be a burden carrier but a carrier of his glory and I just really feel that there is a release there is a freedom and there's also just a this is just a time of receiving his gift and celebration so I really want to encourage you step into his presence of joy and faith and celebration for what he is doing in your life God loves you so much Louise he has such a big plan for you God bless you our next word is for Edgar Heller. Edgar, when I saw you, I saw like how you were like standing in this field. And this field, you was like surrounded by like beautiful rubies and diamonds and gold. And you were like surrounded with all of its, these things and you like felt so happy. But then I saw like how God came and he like took 
like a blur from your eyes and he like allowed you to focus and when you focused you saw but this is not the real thing all all of this time you've been deceived and i just see like our god shows me that he's gonna give you the real thing he's gonna give you all the jewels and all the 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 gemstones that you can that you can have you just have to have faith in him and you have to believe in him but i feel like our god says that you need to focus your eyes on him because he'll show you the true treasures um, the things that you need the things that he's gonna surround you with but I just see like our God is saying do not be deceived by all these things that is not that's not true that is false make sure that you surround yourself with heavenly things make sure that you surround yourself with the Spirit of God um, and God shows me that when you do that all of the things that's not from him will be exposed and your eyes your eyes will be open you'll, you'll be able to see it be blessed Thank you, Edgar, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Frankie. Frankie, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a chain and the chain is about to break. Uh, but then I see how the Holy Spirit comes and it just mends that chain. And I see that there's some weak links in your, um, in your, your, your belief system, your reasoning system. And how the Holy Spirit is not going to come and judge you. Or something like that is going to come and help you and give you revelation so be attentive and awake for revelations write it down pray over it don't always say I know the answer allow the Lord to influence you and give you revelation so that you know what is the truth and I really see how the truth is going to set you free be blessed Amen Frankie please give us a comment Johnson the, the Lord says don't let the enemy put a tape over your mouth and, and, and quiet you down and and don't think that if you when you connect to the Lord that you the, the Lord shows me how you know how to connect to him that you that you know how to release the river of God out of you and out of your mouth that you speak his truth don't ever let the enemy let you think that what you're speaking is a bunch of nonsense the Lord shows me how you go back to the word and you compare what you are saying with the word and you and you like secure what you say this is what the word is saying and this is what i'm saying and they're the same don't don't put that tape over your mouth don't whenever like you speak and you feel there there's there's something there that's that's blocking me i see how in the spirit you must let you just go and pull that tape off your mouth and then get and get back into the flow of the lord and speak his truth be blessed um so johnson uh, I, I saw actually uh, ice and how the Lord is putting warm water over that ice and it completely melted. And I, and I felt that you, you see there's an obstacle and you think, I don't know if I can overcome this obstacle. But I felt that the Lord is giving you uh, supernatural favor to overcome every obstacle. Mm -hmm. okay. Awesome. Johnson, God loves you very, very much. Um, uh, and there is... I always, when I see your name, I feel there is a business anointing and a call upon your life. And I trust that God is going to really raise you up uh, as a gate for the su supply of God to flow out of your life. All right. Awesome. All right. So, family, uh, every single name that you've play, uh, put on the list, uh, I'll go through just after we're done now with the live. I'll double make double sure that every single person's name is on our list. And we're going to come together. And we're going to record another video too and we'll post them with all with ministry to each one so you can even right now if you want to just uh, put your name in there if you would like to receive ministry and i'll and i'll add you to the list so we have communion here with us and so we're going to sit right now and we're just going to have a uh, communion together so if you maybe want to go and get some communion for yourself uh, you can do that um, but um, what I want you to do is just take that bread and just uh, break it if you can. So Jesus' body was broken for you. Uh, he paid the price on the cross uh, for everything that can be broken in our lives. Now if you think about the brokenness that we live in, is Adam and Eve was the first people that God created them and they were not broken. Okay? Although they were tempted and tested, they were not broken. They were shining with the glory of God. The, the Spirit of God was in them. They uh, didn't sweat in the toil. They didn't have curses on them. Uh, and they had unlimited provision. Uh, and they had also unlimited access to the Father. And they could see God and they could experience Him. And so that is God's plan. 
And so that's why the Lord is bringing restoration to us as humanity, to bring us back to where Adam and Eve was as the original template. And now Jesus is our template. And so it doesn't matter what brokenness you, you have in your life. You don't have to be ashamed of that. The enemy wants to uh, uh, bring shame to you. But what you need to do is say to the Lord, Lord, here is the brokenness. I'm doing a trade today. I'm giving my brokenness to you. And then what the Lord does, uh, he takes your brokenness because he paid for it on the cross. And then he brings wholeness uh, into your life. And that is a process. And so that's why it's so good for us to take communion because we make that trade. Right? Uh, and that helps us to, to grow and not to let things drag out in our lives and, and, and bring delay in our lives. So I want you to take that bread today. And so Lord, we come to you today. And Lord, thank you. Just like this uh, bread was broken, Lord, we come to you and we give our brokenness to you and we make that trade. And Lord, we come in the name of Jesus and we receive the wholeness that you give to us. Yeah. And I just see many of you as you sit there, how, how the Lord is just filling you afresh up with His Holy Spirit. And just like Adam and Eve had the breath of God in them and the glory of God in them, the Lord is putting His breath into you. Well, thank you. You can go eat and eat the bread. Okay, so uh, for the juice, you can use water or, or grape juice, anything you, you have there at the house. So Jesus, thank you for your blood. Thank you that we can tonight reaffirm our covenant that we have with you. That you are our God and we are your children. And that you cover us. That, your, that you speak your word over us. And Lord, from our side we say, Lord, we agree with every word that you speak over us. Lord, we receive uh, the spirit and the breath of God into us. As we step into a covenant. And just like uh, Jesus, uh, just like the Israelites stand with God and a cloud came over them. It was like a hoopah. So in the same way the Lord is bringing his cloud over us and say, I'm establishing a covenant with you. So Lord, we love to walk with you, to be in a covenant with you and to be obedient to your plans for our life. We love you very, very much. And we surrender completely to you. We submit completely to you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, just say amen even where you are. Just out loud. And you can, uh, you can drink your juice. As a family, I love and I appreciate each one of you. Um, thank you that we can be part of your life. And thank you for being part of our lives. Um, I think this... This coming year is going to be amazing and the Lord is going to lead us. He's going to give us instructions and we're going to obey it and we're going to see heaven come to earth in our lives. It's going to be amazing. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.